Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, my question is to the Premier. Premier, the Greater Sudbury Police Services commit their members to four key values. Those four values are respect, integrity, commitment, and honesty. Do you believe the members of the Police Services Board, especially the Chair, are above the same values of the police servicemen and women? Do you believe the board members, like your friend Jerry Loggy, are above the law? Thank you, Premier. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. You know, it's very hard um, on one hand to say that we have a deep respect for the Police Services Board, and then on the other hand, question that uh, the, the capacity of the Police Services Board to make decisions, Mr. Speaker. I think the member opposite knows full well that the Police Services Board act independently, Mr. Speaker. They have responsibility for police services in their municipalities. And, Mr. Speaker, I have a lot of confidence in their ability Order. in Sudbury to do their job, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, back to the Premier. Premier, it's obvious that members of the Liberal Party do not hold themselves to the same standards. The Sudbury Police commit to integrity by pledging we perform our duties with high ethical and moral standards. The service says our actions demonstrate our respect for the community. Jerry Loghe has been recorded offering an apparent bribe on behalf of your party. Premier, how is he demonstrating integrity or respect for Sudbury? Again, Mr. Speaker, uh, I say to the member opposite, the police services boards in this province have a, a very serious responsibility for the provision of adequate and effective services in their municipalities, Mr. Speaker, and I have a lot of faith in their ability to do that, including, Mr. Speaker, in this instance. Mr. Speaker, the member opposite knows that there is an investigation going on. He also knows that that investigation is going on outside of this legislature, and we're going to let that unfold with the authorities, and we will continue to cooperate with them, Mr. Thank Speaker. You. The uh, member from Renfrew, Nipissing, Pembroke will come to order. And uh, I will keep track. Thank you. Final. Speaker, back to the Premier again. Premier, let me tell you what the police service says about honesty. They say they are truthful, open, and fair. About commitment, they say we are dedicated to serving the needs of our community. The nomination certainly was not truthful, open, or fair. It is clear Jerry Loghek does not live up to the values of the board. Premier, do you believe Jerry Loghek's actions Senator. were honest and in line with the values of the board? Minister of Community Safety and Protection Services. Minister of Community and Safety. Thank you very much, Speaker. And I again remind the member opposite that there is a process in place when it comes to dealing with matters like this. There is a code of conduct in place uh, that is enacted through the regulation, and it's really up to the local police services board uh, to to determine whether uh, they suspect if there is a breach of code of conduct, and if so, if so, they can uh, they can refer the matter to the Ontario Civilian Police Commission. In fact, Speaker, I'm sure the member opposite knows that's exactly the process that is being followed now. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Sudbury Police Services uh, has been in touch with the Ontario Civilian Police Commission and I'm sure OCPC is looking into the matter. That is the proper course. That is the process that's laid out. Is arm's length from the government speaker. We should respect that process. Thank you very much. New question, the member from Dufferin Caledon. Thank you.